today, my allies in the New World Order, we will come to power and we will take over this world, United States, using our technology for our 5G signal will activate every one of us with the vaccine and we will become leaders of this new world. And then the government can take over the government. <laughs> it's here! <laughs> oh. No action required by the public. Well, they are going to take over. I can already feel the zombie virus. No, that's seasonal allergies. But seriously, I mean, there's... Here's one claim. October 4th will send a signal to cell phones nationwide in order to activate nanoparticles such as graphene oxide that has been introduced into people's bodies. When I lived in Texas, I knew an emergency manager and she spent a lot of her life, her adult life, trying to figure out how to best plan for emergencies how to help people, how to get to people who may not hear the message. This was before the mass proliferation of cell phones. And so she really worked hard at how to get the message out when there's an emergency. And she went on to bigger and better things. Uh, this was just like, well, not small. It was a large university campus but she went off to do emergency management for a city in Florida. She had spent her entire adult life working up to becoming an emergency manager. And she really liked the, I don't want to say thrill, because it sounds like, but, but I mean, she, she was excited to figure out how to help people in emergencies and how to protect people in a, in a bureaucratic way. We have gotten to this point where we just feel that the government is the enemy a lot to do with these conspiracies but the truth of the matter is that there's a lot of people there who are hired who really want to do good and so she's an emergency manager and I'm just trying to picture where she has to answer the question is the emergency alert going to activate the contents of the COVID-19 vaccine to create zombies? Or at least activate nanoparticles. Zombies is a different, different adjacent conspiracy to this damn test. I miss the day when these kind of people were just in that weird dark corner of the neighborhood and you knew not to really talk with them or go by there by yourself, right? Yeah, I don't even know. It's so bizarre to me. Uh, no, no, this is nothing special. It's been in use since the 1960s, right? Like any kid growing up, I was born in the 80s, so any kid growing up, you know, and during that time, 80s and 90s, 
remembers the emergency at the time it was the emergency broadcast system ebs now it's the emergency alert system this is a test this station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system this is only a test this is a test of the emergency broadcast system the broadcasters of your area in voluntary cooperation with federal state and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official information, news, or instruction. This station serves the Salt Lake City area. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. It's basically the same thing except for wireless protocols, uh, so it gets sent by cell towers, not TV and radio towers. And then you get nonsense like this. The signal is so much stronger than an Amber Alert. Amber Alert uses data it collects to reach you, but this alert is using an invasive signal to tap into your phone. If used improperly, could allow exploitive conditioning. Imagine shilling for and trusting the establishment. Sheep emoji, sheep emoji, sheep emoji. That's rich coming from people who call their leader a shepherd and themselves a flock. Interesting that Russia has also conducting an identical test at exactly the same time. We're making sure it works because we'll need to be ready for the big one soon. It's not about fear. It's about the preparation of what's to come. A society in the shape of ours currently cannot survive. Yes. Follow the instructions of the government. Get your boosters. Wear your mask. Allow access to your phone. Walk over the cliff. Don't worry, it's just a test to see if you will go over when they tell you. In the past, these practice events are a cover for real things. The internet has given us access to everyone else who has access to the internet. Still haven't decided if that's a good idea. The problem is, is everyone has an opinion. Everyone thinks their opinion is valid and has the weight of reality in it. So let's look at it this way. Is this a test of a system that has never been used? And the only way to know if it works is to test it or a grand conspiracy on multiple fronts to turn you into. Yeah. But I'm guessing to these people, this is very plausible. Not taking into consideration that this technology has been around for a while. Just the other day, I got an alert on my phone for a tornado warning. It's the exact same system, just originating from a different source. If you think this is somehow going to allow people to implant something into your device to track you, it already has a tracking device. It already tracks everywhere you go. They can take all of that data and put it together and figure out where you've been every day that you've had the phone on you. Shh. It's already there. And all it takes is a subpoena to get that information. And subpoenas and warrants aren't that hard to get. I mean, maybe that's the grand conspiracy right there. It has nothing to do with the device that's in your pocket. But the fact that a lot of judges will just rubber stamp warrants and off they go. But sure. They have to go through this song and dance, which I've always found interesting with uh, conspiracy theories. It's, it's always intricate and complex with many gears. Uh, these people have just watched too much TV. Uh, there's a joke that goes around about obviously conspiracy theorists have never worked in project management. I mean, once you get past just a handful of people trying to keep everybody in line and keep secret secret, people do not keep secrets. Okay? Not generally, not very well. Anyway, 
that's just my take on all of this. I, whatever that, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a long build up to this. Into the deepest jungles went Pressman toy makers looking for something new. The secret they brought back for you is incredible. The Pressman Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. Plastic flesh, mixing cauldron and petrifying potion. Just pour it into the mold and in minutes you can add monster hair. Paint it with a coloring kit included or make up your own decorations. In 24 hours the heads shrink, shrink down. Now shrunken heads for all occasions. Collect them, swap them, give them to your witch doctor friends. You can always cook up more with Pressman's Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. This station is testing its emergency broadcast system equipment. The emergency broadcast system will soon be replaced with the emergency alert system. The emergency alert system will provide timely emergency warnings. This station serves the Broom, Shenango, Delaware, Otsego, and Tioga counties operational area. This concludes this emergency broadcast system test. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been instructed where to tune in your area for news and official information. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system.